Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Jonathan here with another video. Today we're going to be looking at how to create incredible exploding animations using Twinmotion and Vectorworks. So it doesn't really matter what model you use, but let's have a look at how we can create these amazingly sort of explanatory diagrams using Twinmotion with the new exploding features. Okay, so I just want to show you this project in Vectorworks to begin with. It was a project I did a little while ago for a timber framing company. And you can see we model in a lot of detail the framing members for a particular project. So I'm going to go ahead and export this as an Unreal Datasmith file. And basically that should drop into Twinmotion nicely. And then we'll look at how we can apply the new exploding animations very straightforwardly to create some really interesting diagrams and models. Okay, so here we are in Twinmotion. I'm just going to go ahead and import the file. And you can see we've got our Datasmith file there. Just make sure you kind of like check the standard things. I really love the way it feeds in gradually with the new importer from Datasmith now. And you can see the model has come in extremely nicely. So all those colors, by the way, just indicated the different types of function of the different types of framing members. Things like green for the rafters and blue for the kind of stats and so on. Now, if you look into the structure of my model, you'll notice that all of the layers from Vectorworks have now come through as individual kind of folders, if you like, in my animator. So that was quite important. When we built the model, we built it in lots of different layers so that I could essentially drag that entire kind of group of those layers into the exploder. So you can see already without really doing anything at all, we've got this really nice little exploding animation just explaining how the project sort of might fit together and all the different components. I think this is just really, really cool. And for this to be able to animate in real time, I think it's just wonderful. So if we play around with the settings, there's things like the uh, different types of shape, sphere, cylinder and plane. Also things like the amplification factor. And finally, we've also got things like the staggered offset. So using these sliders, you can really see how we can create a big range of different animations. Also control things like the loop speed as well, if you want to slow things down a little bit. Now, finally, there's also the different animator easing functions. So we've got a linear function, got a more accelerate and decelerate function, and then some different types of curves that we can apply. So I think you'll find that it's pretty intuitive and easy to use. Um, so if we do want to actually click and record this, we can basically just go to our movie, create a little video frame, move to a new position, and basically click, create that as a keyframe. So basically what you should find is if we play that movie, let's do one more frame, and just sort of frame that model up a little bit while it's been exploded. So now when we rewind, you can see that only are we animating the camera, we've got that nice exploding animation occurring pretty much in real time in front of us as well. So I really like the new exploder here. I think this is a very cool function and it's something that I've done manually before now, which was much more work. So I would recommend you have a little play around with this, no matter what software you're using, it might be SketchUp or Blender or some other modeling software, but have you tried these new exploders in Twinmotion at all? Let me know. Now, there's a whole range of different ones. Um, so you'll also notice that you can basically click different ones here and there's like gentle push, deconstruct, for example. Um, there's also a nice one for splitting plans as well. So I think we'll kind of like just play around with some of those. Let's animate that and see what these do. So the gentle push one is quite a nice. Um, I actually think that's a rather nice one just to kind of really explain how the kind of parts of this model fit together. What you can see is all the different layers that I've used stay together. What's really nice is they kind of animate as a group and basically explode all the different frame modules. So it works extremely well. So I think this is looking pretty good. Um, so let's just kind of reframe up that model, maybe change that amplification factor a little bit as well. So is this something that you guys have ever tried to do with any other software? If so, I think you'll realize how uh, amazing this is and how much easier it makes things to begin with. So I thought I'd set up another little animation. Let's see if we can get another sequence now using this different animator here. Just to set up a few keyframes and just spin around that model. Let's just go around to this view here and create one more keyframe. 
Fantastic. Okay, so let's rewind this particular animation and we'll just play this through. And you can see we've got this really nice model exploding apart. It really clearly shows the construction and how these parts all fit together. So I think, you know, it's in a really amazing way to kind of communicate your design ideas. And, you know, while you might want to not want to explode your model, you can take this a little bit further by applying a number of different animators to create some more complex animation effects as well. Okay, fantastic. So let's just sort of once again, have a little look at some of the options in here. Um, you've got like nice little controls over the kind of play and playback modes as well. But yeah, really, really easy to apply. I like this loop function where you can kind of see it looping. So the model is expanding just to explain how everything fits together and then coming back together again. And you'll notice that you can basically just play through the timeline and it will basically show you how the model is exploding at any given time. Now you can actually get a bit more control than this using things like the twin motion sequencer, but that's a little bit beyond the uh, realms of this video. That's a bit more controlled and a bit more complex. It's something I'll try and make some future videos on. So of course, if you are new around here, please like and subscribe for more videos and do check out some of my other videos on both twin motion and also Vectorworks as well. So I'm really quite keen to see how this would work. If I just disable that animation a little bit, let's kind of rewind and let's enable and just do another rewind. So you can really see the big difference between playing it with the animation and with ISET. Excellent. Okay, so let's see if we can just adjust that final sequence one more time. So I'm going to go to settings, I'm going to go to my exploder, and I'm going to just change that to a slightly different mode to plain mode. So I'm really interested to see what this would do. Um, so when we go through, let's try a different one. Let's go for the gentle push once again. You can see gentle push is nice. It just sort of gently pushes things apart. Um, I quite like some of the more dynamic ones personally. Okay, so if you do want to apply those, again, just select all the different frames. And you can see that we can also um, basically go through to our framing model and essentially select the different types of exploders. So let's try a different one. Let's just go for maybe the deconstruct and see how this works. Okay, so here's deconstruct now. You can see it kind of like a bit more random, kind of pulls things apart a bit more uh, sort of generously. Okay, so I'm refining my animation, just having played with some of the kind of ones that I want to try out. And I thought I'd basically go through and render these out as a final video for you. So let's play around with the time duration. Let's go for maybe 10 seconds and maybe loop it after 10 seconds as well. See how that works. So we're now playing through a total of 10 seconds to get our animation. You can see we're now expanding and then it should loop back once we kind of get to the start point again. Okay, so I think I'm really almost there with our final sort of setup. Just gonna change that loop duration a little bit to five seconds, see how this impacts things a little bit here. So we're kind of beginning to spin around, it starts to explode our model nicely, and then we basically start to expand as well. So I'm pretty happy when I'm ready, I can go and export this as a final movie. Let's go for uh, 60 frames a second. Don't forget to upscale to uh, 4K to get the best quality. And let's just export this and it shouldn't take long at all. So Twin Motion is running really nicely on my Mac, M4 Max now. And basically this is something that I was very happy with. I was really pleased to see it working much better on the Mac platform. So I do hope you've enjoyed this short video showing you an introduction in how to do exploded animated construction type models using Twin Motion. So don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye everyone.